Welcome back everybody to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to rent ourselves a bulldozer, go back to our claim and build a ramp uh, up to the back 40. And uh, this will be the first time that I've even gotten on a bulldozer in this game. Um, maybe even in real life, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this and see how things go. So it's going to cost us $3,615 a day to rent, which is not a big deal. Uh, I just don't see the point in buying this, at least not now, because it's something, you know, we, we would only use on occasion, um, at least at Old Arnold for sure. Maybe down the road, you know, for like Filthy Rich, we might, we could buy one. But uh, yeah, we're just going to order this and then we're going to have to go over here. Now, we're going to have to, uh, how much is it going to cost? Ooh, 40000 No, I don't want to do that right now. That's That's expensive. Um, so we're going to have to remove something back off of old Arnold in order to get that there. Um, I'm kind of wondering if, if we should keep the front loader there, uh, or if we should keep the backhoe, because what's going to happen is what's going to happen is, you know, we're, we're going to pile up dirt and then we're going to have to remove that dirt. Plus I want to process the dirt too, because some of where I'm planning on building the ramp actually has some gold rich areas. Um, so the front loader is obviously going to be a faster way to do that. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just move the, uh, let's remove the, uh, the excavator, uh, back over here and the bulldozer here for now. And, you know, if I end up needing the excavator, it's going to cost me 15, well, probably $3,000 to move it back, but we got to do what we got to do. Okay. So we're going to move our machines and that is done. All right, cool. Uh, so let's jump in our pickup truck, head on back to the ranch and then uh, try out our, the bulldozer for the first time and get that, start working on getting that ramp built. Okay, here we are. Got the bulldozer. So let's go uh, park the pickup truck over here. Uh, I'm not currently, uh, I don't currently have my wheel and stick set up. I'm just using the mouse and keyboard for this episode because uh, I can't, uh, it, I don't have a, a space to keep it up all the time. So I have to take, you know, uh, tear it down, put it back up, tear it down, put it back up. And right now I uh, need to use the mouse and keyboard for other reasons too. So uh, it might be just as well because I'm still trying to kind of get used to that. And um, I'm still a little bit awkward, you know, with the steering wheel and the stick. Uh, to be honest with you, what I have the most trouble with is the articulating axles um, on the front loader to some extent, but the dump truck, believe it or not, is very hard for me to control uh, with that wheel for some reason. Um, it's like the you know when I when I turn the wheel, it doesn't register immediately, uh, even with dead zone adjustments and all of that. And yeah, it's it's a lot harder than you might think. Uh, but anyway, we're we're just going to use the mouse and keyboard for this uh, because I am more comfortable or more used to it, uh, but I also have in real life reasons why I'm not setting that stuff up right now uh, on my desk. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into here. And we'll start her up. Assuming we use the same buttons for views and all that sort of thing. That's the parking brake. Um, turning. Okay, yep. Yeah, so doesn't, I don't think the bulldozer has any modes. It's just the bulldozer. And then up and down is probably R and F. Okay, that's easy enough, I suppose. You know what I might actually want to do, though, is let's go into the settings here to controls and keyboard control and go to the bulldozer. Okay, so for blade up and down... Um, I think I'm going to do the mouse controls, uh, or the mouse, uh, buttons for that. Cause that's what I, what I have it on for the backhoe and for the front loader. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So, at le you know, at least as far as, um, having to walk and chew gum at the same time, there's a there is quite a bit less to the bulldozer. You basically just have to, you know, work the front blade. And, of course, you know, the drop the ripper if you were going to use that, but we don't need to use that, so. It certainly seems to move faster than the excavator, too. Well, maybe not when it gets on, <laughs> maybe not when it gets on hills. Okay, so let's go around here. The other thing we're going to do, too, is we're going to turn on our uh, 
highlight the, the squares we're going to work on. So let's go into our map. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the path up along here. So we're going to mark this out so that way we, you know, we have it marked on the, on the uh, thing. And as, as you can see, as we get further back, um, there's actually some pretty good gold in here. However, this is going to be the upper part. Most of that's lower. But I still, you know, I still want to pull, uh, or I still want to just run this dirt. We might as well run it as we go along. So I don't know how far back we need to go. This might be further than we need to. But on the other hand, the more gradual the ramp is, the you know, the easier it'll be for the vehicles to move up and down it. So I think we start here, plus that still gives us enough of a room back in here to, you know, to turn and, and all that sort of thing. Um, at least I think it does. Let's, uh, let's actually go back that way. Okay, so if we're coming up from the ramp, and this is the very top... Oh yeah, there's there's plenty of room to turn around up here. Okay, so yeah, this is good. All right, so um, I did watch a video of someone doing this, um, but I've never done it myself. So I I think yeah I, I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a new experience. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, so let's start on the left hand side, and then we'll also have to move over to the right hand side. Trying to line it up as best as I can. Okay, so that's probably good. Um, now, if we just bring this down till it touches, and let's get out a little more too, and then we start moving. Yeah, because the ground is is not level, I think we're going to have to get a little bit more of a bite on this. Maybe let's try that. All right. Well, what would happen if we just... Here. Yeah. Let's just take one pass like this first and try and start to level it out a little bit before we worry too much about going down. Well... At least for this upper part. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a bulldozerologist, you guys, so <laughs> I'm not sure what the best way to do this is, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out. But, yeah, like I said, the, the challenge here is that the ground itself is not level, but... It almost acts like it... Okay, so let's bring that up. The other thing I need to do, too, is I need to pay attention to the position on the meter on the right-hand side just so I kind of know where I was, I think. And it probably would behoove us to maybe level out the landing area a little bit better, too, just so when we do come up, we have a nice flat area to, to turn on. So maybe we'll actually work on that a little bit first. Okay, trying to get it like leveled-ish. You know, let's bring this down and just down a little bit that way. Oh, man. Okay, and then we can push that dirt back there. Okay. That kind of fixed my screw up there. Now what I'm going to do is go back. I almost wonder if I should do this. Here, lift that back up. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on our path here. And I'm going to push the dirt that direction. Um, is there any really gold-rich dirt high up here? It kind of is. Wow, that corner is pretty hot. Okay, well, 
Uh, I don't want to waste any of this dirt, so we'll, so we'll have to, you know, we'll have to pick it up. But let's get right to the edge of here. Okay, and then drop this down till it just kind of bites maybe to there. And then let's just start pushing it this way. Get it right to the edge there. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll go over here. Let's back up a little more. And then we'll just kind of do the same thing here. Oh, man, that's... Wait a minute, though. That's, like, cutting way down. That's not what I wanted to do. It seems to me like the trick to this is you have to kind of first establish your what your level's going to be. And then you kind of, you know, slowly conform the ground to that level as you go along. Well, no, that's too much. Okay, down a little more. It's very much, the trick is finding the right height with the blade. Okay, raise that up a little bit. A little bit more. Man, it just, instead of pushing it, it wants to go up over the top. But it looks like I can affect that to some extent by lowering the blade just a little bit more. Um, why don't we bring the front loader up here and and just start removing some of this dirt and uh, go from there. I'm on it. I, I mean, I am, you know, getting it sort of kind of flat there. It's not terrible, like I said. It's just... It might be that I'm trying to move too much dirt in too quickly, and we got to get some of it out of there now. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're gonna come over to the front. Here, let's move the dump truck over this way a little bit. See, I have no problem at all controlling this on, with the mouse and the keyboard, but when I get on that on my steering wheel, it's just really tough to to not you know overcorrect and do all that kind of thing. Okay, let's um, get back in the bulldozer now and see if we can make things even a little more level here. Okay, so what I want to do is... See, this little part here is kind of, I think, our baseline... Again, like for being level, except for that it's not. <laughs> it's not actually level. Uh, right here, <clears throat> excuse me, right about here is pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lower this down till it touches. All right, now let's just kind of push. No, uh, all right, hold on a second. problem is the the dozer dips down and then it starts biting more than I want it to all right well yeah it, it, you know I'm a very much a, a what you call a kinesthetic learner in other words I learn by doing hands-on learning so I think what I'm gonna do you guys is I'm just gonna mess with this for a while and I'll bring you guys back with an update you know, on my progress, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Um, one thing I've noticed that is if you have the blade in the exact right position, 
then you can push quite a bit of dirt before it, you know, tries to drive up over the top of it. But if it's driving up over the top of it, then your blade's too high. Um, but obviously, if it's doing a big bike down into the dirt, then it's too low. So if there's like a sweet spot on this blade. And if, if you find that, you know, then you can do a pretty good job of leveling out uh, the area that you're in. The thing that that's tricky about this, though, is getting, you know, kind of getting your level area to work from in the first place. But I think, um, you know, had I known a little bit more about the whole sweet spot idea from the get-go, I would have been able to do that more quickly, you know, than I did. Uh, but right now, you know, I'm really happy with, with how it's working because everything is really getting nice and flat here at the what's going to be the top of our ramp, you know, and I have quite a bit of dirt built up here too that I'm going to get with the, the front loader and go take and process. But yeah, um, so that's, seems like, the, you know, that's kind of the deal there, finding that sweet spot. Okay, let's get this, um, let's get this little ridge out of the way so we can get the front loader back around here. I'd actually like to try and smooth some of this out over here too. I have a feeling though like I should probably have the blade down just one bump there. So it yeah, it appears to me like it might not be an exact spot but it's within within a click or two. I think you know just kind of from what I'm seeing here. So the, the one thing I'll say about this the bulldozer uh, in this game, and maybe this is somewhat true in real life too, I don't know, because I, like I said, I don't think I've ever been on a bulldozer that I can remember, is, you know, it's, you have to kind of finesse it. You, you need, you need like, fine-tuned movements. You just can't take a big bite and start hauling away, or then you, then you kind of mess things up. So, very interesting. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take this little pile of dirt here and start kind of pushing it down this way to see if we can we might have to bike down just another click here so um, right about here okay and what I want to do is I want to kind of push it out here to start to level out this big dip down here but yeah this is really fun Okay, well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just kind of keep working at this. I might, um, all this dirt that you see that I have piled up here, I'm going to move that and go process it in the wash plant. Um, and I might also try and flatten out our, our pathway up here a little bit, too. I don't really need to, but, you know, just to practice a little bit more with the bulldozer and stuff, because, you know, see how it's kind of arched? Maybe, maybe just make this a little bit flatter, too, just for the heck of it. Um, I don't think any of the dirt along there is really worth much. Uh, w yeah, once we start getting here, it's just kind of blah. Not, not well, that has 152 in it. Um, so I'm not, you know, I don't know if I'll, I'll process that, um, but we'll see. But I, I, I'm going to try and just flatten that out a little more again to practice with the bulldozer. Uh, get these piles out here. And just, you know, get the landing area prepped. And then once uh, I'm done with that, I'll bring you back. And then we'll start actually working on uh, digging our ramp down here. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, I got my corner all leveled out. And now I'm just kind of working on getting this little pathway here uh, leveled. So far, everything's going pretty good. So let's hit this next little side here. Might have to push some of this kind of down off the other direction. It just depends upon. See, it starts to level back out though as we get over here. It's great. This little part here we can just scoop up and put in the dump truck. But yeah, see, that makes this nice and level for us. It's a beautiful thing. There's a little a nub thingy there. Did that catch it? Uh-uh. 
Weird. Maybe I need to go down one notch here. There we go. Now let's come back up a notch. All right. So let's push this next little bit here. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, I think I got this area leveled out pretty nicely through here. I had to get the front loader and bring some dirt over and kind of fill in this darker spot uh, to, uh, you know, get it all leveled out. <clears throat> but I'm pretty happy with how all the dozing so far has turned out. Uh, so now it's time for us to start cutting the ramp. So I'm not sure if I should start this with the dozer or if I should actually start it maybe with the, the front loader. I think we'll start it with the dozer and we'll just see how it goes. And, you know, it might end, it's probably going to be, end up being a, you know, start with a real gradual ramp, cut it all the way down, back up, cut a little bit more, you know, change the grade a little steeper, cut it down, come back change the grade a little steeper, come down, come back, et cetera, et cetera, and just kind of wash, rinse, uh, rinse, and repeat with that. I think that's probably how we'll need to do this. Um, <clears throat> and I'll probably, you know, end up with pretty good-sized piles of dirt. And so, you know, when that happens, then I'll have to bring the loader down to, to pull the dirt out of there. So that is what we're going to try here. But, yeah, this looks pretty nice and flat. I mean, it's not perfectly flat but it's pretty darn flat i mean way better than it was when we started uh, and you know i'm feeling a little more comfortable now with my newfound bulldozer skills so that's a good thing too okay so let's hop up here um all right so we're gonna get lined up i think we should probably go down one side first and then the other next maybe i don't know let's get more or less lined up on here and then we're going to bring this down and you know we do want to cut start cutting down so i'm gonna i mean that's as far down as it'll go but i think we should probably maybe bring it up two clicks does that even start biting not really okay so let's go down one more click let's see what that does still not really doing anything all right. Well, there goes my sound again. All right, this is as far down as it'll go. But it should start biting as the dozer starts going down. Okay, so let's just see how far down we can go this way. Not, not too far, actually. <laughs> This is what the blade is far down as it'll go. Yeah, it might it might actually not be a bad idea for us to just well, okay, that's that's it for there. Now we're high centered. There we go. Yeah, just to kind of bring this first part, get it somewhat level-ish before we continue on. I am, like, completely stuck here. Nope, don't put that on. Uh, oh, I turned, I accidentally turned the engine off. <laughs> I'm going, what in the heck? No, I didn't. Wait a minute. It was on. All right, we're going to have to do a reset. I'm completely stuck here, so we'll restore that back to the front. Thank goodness this game has that option in it, man. I guess if not, I would have had to get the front loader and try to push it over or something. All right, let's get back over there and try it again. You know what I think I'm going to do is let's get right here. Drop this down and just go right off over the edge of this and see if we can push some of it. <laughs> that dirt down. Oh, well, okay. Maybe not. 
Okay, well, we got more or less unstuck there, so that's something, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. I might, I might have to cut the first part of the ramp with the backhoe just to get get it on enough of an angle because right here it's just so flat I can't even get a bite off on that. Let's try it again. Okay, that's as far down as it'll go. All right, we're getting a little bit of a bite there. Yeah, it's shaving it away a little bit. This big pile over here, we're going to have to get with the front loader, obviously. Wow, how much dirt will this thing push? That was that was impressive. Oh, no, don't go off the edge. There we go. I think yeah, I think we're good. Phew. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's probably just going to be kind of a long, slow, shave a little bit at a time kind of situation here. Let's try it again. Okay, blades all the way down. Well, it's moving more of the dirt. It's starting to level out now. And it looks like that's... Oh, no. Nope. Looks like that's about as far as it's going to let me go. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um... I'm just going to keep doing this, you know, keep making multiple passes with the blade as far down as it can go. And I think eventually, you know, it'll start shaving it down. And I'll bring you back with an update as we make some progress here. All right, guys, I'm back with a bit of an update here. So far, so good. Uh, one thing I've discovered about the bulldozer is that if you lower the blade all the way, and hold the button down it'll still it still kind of bears down on the thing but if I lift if I take my finger off the button then it stops kind of pushing down on it even though it seems to have a limit so I don't know if that made sense but basically what I'm saying is if I keep the button held down and keep you know torquing the blade it'll bite harder than if I just put it all the way to the lowest position and then let, take my finger off the mouse um, so yeah, we're making progress as you can see. We, we've already cut down this far uh, so far. A lot of that's still sort of kind of following the contour of the of the what the ground was though. So I think what I'm going to do is make a couple more passes like I'm doing, and then we're going to have to get the front loader and go down to that end and start digging some of that dirt out. Um, uh, but let's just kind of get along this edge here. I don't want to cut too far to the right because we need enough room, you know, to drive up there. Yeah, it's looking good, man. Looking good. Uh-oh. Just busted a cog, so... Okay, well, we're going to have to go get that replaced then. 
Man, I haven't even been using this dozer for that long. Okay, let's um, cut the engine. And uh, take a look at... Oh, it's inside of there. Okay. So do I have to use the impact driver to get this off? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We have to take all those bolts out. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, this is going to take a while. Makes sense, though. Okay, now... Um, a detach. Oh, yeah, okay. Set that there. Now, are all of these cogs... Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. That one's 2%, 15%, and then, of course, that one's hosed. All right, so it looks to me like there are... Uh, a total of eight then, two on each side. So we should buy eight because I'm sure the ones on the other side are probably getting close too. Get those ordered before a thunderstorm comes and stops us from using the tablet so we have to run into town. Um, and our dump truck is almost full, so we're just about ready to do another clean out. We're at 96% there. I'm not expecting a lot of gold out of this dirt though because this is not really the best dirt, but... I figure we might as well run it anyways. We'll get some gold out of it. All right. Equipment store parts. So we are looking for inner cog. Uh, right here. Okay. Outer cog. It's part of the excavator's drive system. There is no excavator operator who would dare to fix the machine with only one cog. Be smart. Buy the full set. Yeah, but that's not an excavator. That's a bulldozer. Oh, you know what? Are those other ones outer cogs? It's part of the excavator's drive system. Just try not to put it in the middle slot. Okay. So if I'm interpreting that right, I think we need two of these and then six of the other ones. Oh, those are kind of expensive, man. All right, you know what we're going to do then? Let's buy one of these and one of these just to confirm that that's the case. And then if it is, I'll come back and get the rest of them.